Um, the s seventh video, I thought I would do um, a little more detail on Boys and Girls Club and just the experience of, like, stereotype threats and um, also, also social class. So the first thing is um, I didn't see anything with stereotype threats um, at Boys and Girls Club. But I do know that some stereotypes do exist. Like in my earlier videos, I talked about gender and how, okay, boys have to do things a certain way. Girls have to do things a certain way. Um, and then it's all based on those characteristics with what they understand. But um, it also is interesting on in how it applies to like race. And um, the thing is, is like I noticed a lot of the kids, um, they don't really apply stereotypes as much to race at that age which is good um but I think it really does affect gender more at that age and so that's why it's kind of more relevant um but yeah um but between race and gender those are both the two biggest stereotypes that um kids seem to base their personal experiences off of and you know put a label on whatever they see um but there hasn't been anything to where it's like pose a a threat or um like a danger to anyone so that's good um kids are really respectful and they're mindful of how of how it affects them and and their peers um so yeah there hasn't been anything racist or anything like that um however the next thing is social class so you can definitely tell that there's a, a wide variety of social classes between lower and upper class. Um, there's not as many upper class, um, which I think is interesting because I think if some of those kids are upper class, they're probably not going to, going to be there. They're probably going to be doing other things other than being at Boys and Girls Club. Um, but there are a lot of middle class, like, like lower middle class kids. Um, and you can tell based on... Um, I mean, this kind of applies to stereotypes, but based on the way they dress and the way they present themselves, like how they're educated, if they're able to talk um, and able to articulate things uh, with more understanding and more knowledge um, of certain things, you can definitely tell that some kids do have a higher knowledge base for their age than the majority and I think those kids are probably more likely to be middle or upper, you know, like middle class, but like higher middle class. Um, and there's only a few of those. But yeah, mostly like like lower to middle class kids go to Boys and Girls Club. Um, but they also live pretty locally, too. So it's based on the demographics and the location, too. It's convenient um, for them to be there. But yeah, um that's pretty much it, you know, constructing those two things together and how it applies to um, the overall program. And next video for video number eight, I'm going to talk about the overview of what we did and everything. Thank you.